Hey, my legion. How are y'all doing today? I want to review uh, Bog Free on a &E. I don't even know, but I haven't watched a &E in a while, in a few years. To uh, be honest, I know that Tina WWE do all these biographies and stuff like that. And then uh, some other, I mean, I knew, I've seen a couple biographies. I remember that Chasing Shadows thing with Bret Hart that they did. I remember the Andre the Giant biography. I remember a few of them, but I didn't know they were doing that. And I had a ma random Macho Man said, Oh, yeah, dig it. Um, document eight o'clock, two hours. And well, first of all, it was nice seeing. I mean, sadly, he passed away, but I mean, it was nice seeing a lot of the other wrestlers still around, like the uh, Steamboat and Honky Tonk Man, stuff like that. Because a lot of times, uh, wrestling is such a tough business, a lot of people die in their 40s and stuff like that. Like Sherry, I mean, they talk about they mention. When uh, he left the litter and he was with Sherry, he was turning a full badass king macho man. Back when I was in the army, Sherry passed away in her 50. I think she was having coffee and she just keeled over and that was it. It's it's sad. Um, but, the, I mean, the documentary starts, uh, the biography starts about his life and stuff. It has his mom talking and his brother leaping Lanny Poffo. And talked about his dad. I didn't know his dad was a wrestler. I didn't know he was second generation. And his dad was pretty tough. And then uh, he wanted to pursue baseball uh, right around the time I was born. And then something happened. He had a shoulder injury. And he actually taught uh, himself how to throw. Uh, I think he was left-handed. He got a and he showed him how to throw right-handed or something like that. And then they still let him go. And he said, that's it. I'm done with baseball. Because he wanted to be within the Myers. He wanted to be a baseball player. For a while, a few years, and then and they finally said, Well, that baseball don't want me, I don't want baseball. And then he went to pursue wrestling and talked about his eventual, I mean, his rise as I had been so different and forming his character, and then eventually going to WWE and trial and tribulation with you know a whole bunch of other stuff. It's a fascinating show, and I know that Elizabeth teamed up with Lex Luger and that was bad. They show Lex Luger, like I mentioned, I talked to my Uncle Rick because he didn't like talking about wrestling. This was ages ago. On Hardcore Pond, Lex Luger was on there. He's tiny. He's skinny now. I mean, he'd be huge, and he's like a little like a little waif. Now, I was surprised. I was like, wrestling uh, spits you, chews you up and spits you out. Um, but it's a great, I mean, I talk about the sad stuff because, I mean, it ended kind of sad. Uh, but it's a fascinating, a fascinating show. I didn't know WWE was doing all this stuff now. I think they did a new uh, Roddy Piper one that I got to watch, too. Um, but I loved it. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's fantastic. Uh, Andy Biography, Randy Man Macho, Randy Man Macho Savage. Uh, it, was, it was really good, very entertaining. Um, I, I give it a 10 out of 10. It was wonderful. I want to thank my friend from work for letting me know about it because I didn't know about it. I haven't watched any in a while. I haven't been keeping up with some of the channels. A lot of the channels I used to watch, I don't really watch anymore. It's the way it goes, you know. But, um, yeah, I like the video a lot. So until next time, please take care of my legion. Really good stuff.